now discuss and continue with our discussion about the legacy of FW de Klerk. We're joined by the executive director of the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation, Nishan Belton. Thank you for your time and good morning to you. Uh, we've been asking our viewers this entire morning and I suppose some of our guests um, when it comes to uh, the FW de Klerk's legacy rather, if more could have been done by him to take accountability for obviously the uh, apartheid regime as well as you know all the pain and hurt that it has caused at least from FW de Klerk as the last standing uh, president under apartheid. What are your views on this? Do you think you could have done more uh, to address uh, the regime at the time? Well, well, I think his uh, his, his, his video message. I think just before his own passing, almost seems to acknowledge that he could have done more uh, and, and should have done more to acknowledge apartheid as a crime uh, against humanity. And, and I think in his last moments, he attempts to do that. Um, so certainly, I, I think he could have done more to expose the atrocities of the apartheid uh, government, particularly the killings uh, of, of political activists. Um, he, he, he could have done more to expose the, 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 the huge amounts of secrets uh, and secret documents that were destroyed just before 1994. Uh, and, and, and I think the, uh, just his, his, his appearance at the TRC and the performance there um, was not one that left Archbishop too, too happy um, and, and, in fact, left him slightly angered. And so certainly he could have done much, much more. Yeah. With that being said, what legacy do you think F.W. de Klerk leaves behind and how should South Africans remember him? I think he leaves a mixed legacy. And, and that mixed legacy is epitomized by the fact that he was the last apartheid uh, president, but he was also the, one of the first deputy presidents of, of our democratic government. And, and that's the contradictory and complex legacy uh, that our country has. Uh, and, 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 and I think keeping in mind that our democracy is, was founded on a negotiated settlement. Mm. And, and that negotiated settlement required people to negotiate. The, the clerk rose to the occasion, unlike his predecessor. He crossed the Rubicon that was required at the time, uh, unlike his predecessor. And, and he, he could well have um, avoided that. Um, I think the forces of, 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 of liberation would have achieved its objective. But the devastation that most likely would have come in the 20 years or more that he might have held out for mm. is just too, 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 too huge to even contemplate. Uh, and, and that's what we must credit him for. Um, there is a lot that we, we should not be crediting him for, but I think we must acknowledge the pivotal role that he played in helping the transition to democracy in this country. Right. Uh, my colleague Gareth Edwards had a conversation with uh, the Nelson Mandela Foundation, Silo Hadang, and, you know, Silo mentioned that uh, after uh, F.W. de Klerk's statements around apartheid not being uh, an act of crime against humanity, which, of course, we know he later retracted, um, Silo then said he gave him a call and engaged with him on those statements made by F.W. de Klerk then. And I'm just curious to know if the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation ever had any engagements uh, with F.W. W. De Klerk, and if you did, uh, what were the conversations like? What were those engagements like with the now late former president? Well, well we, with regards to the, 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 the statements that the foundation made, very much like the Mandela Foundation, we reached out and we, 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 we publicly condemned it, but we also reached out to the F.W. De Klerk Foundation CEO, Dave Stewart, to, to, to make our objections known. And we're very happy that they retracted, um, although the retraction itself didn't have the kinds of wording that indicated um, an acceptance that, that they, were, they were wrong uh, in, in, in not accepting that apartheid itself was a crime against humanity. Um, the, the, the foundation um, Collaborated with the the Clerk Foundation in, in, in a few dialogues. Uh, we we interviewed the Clerk as one of forty 
uh, prominent South Africans in about 2010, 2011, just on his views on issues of race, racism, non-racialism. And in there, I think his, his kinds of sentiments about uh, apartheid were, 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 were not as unambiguous um, as, 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 as I think the, the country would have wanted. Mm. And, and as he has now articulated, there, there was no kind of close working relationship, however. Mr. Kathrad, however, did uh, meet with him on several occasions, mm. um, and, and, and they were mutually respectful. There was no sign of recrimination at all. Um, and, and a lot of uh, very polite and numerous banter um, yeah. is, is, is what characterized their conversations. Right. Before I let you go in just a few seconds that I have left with you, Mr. Bolton, uh, how should then the country uh, move forward following the passing of former President F.W. de Klerk? Because some are just questioning whether this last video that was seen and heard uh, was an attempt to almost, uh, you know, either apologize and vindicate um, his role, at least, as the then president and, uh, you know, the National Party. Um, how should then South Africans move on, I suppose is my question, uh, in closing this chapter? In as far as F.W. de Klerk is concerned? You know, reconciliation requires daily work from everybody. It requires an agenda, it requires leaders, and it re requires daily acts of, of reconciliation. And I think the sooner we get, in, we get down to defining what that, what that requires from all of us, we would be able to collectively not only move beyond the Klerk, mm. uh, but move beyond much of what ails South Africa currently as well. All right, Nishan Bolton from the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation. Thank you so much for your time.